Your Coca-Cola bottler presents Claudia, based on the famous play and novels by Rose Franken. Brought to you transcribed Monday through Friday by your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. Relax, and while you're listening, refresh yourself. Have a Coke. And now, Claudia. David, I don't think I can get up this morning. Well, aren't you feeling all right? Feeling fine, but it's freezing out. <sighs> Put on your slippers. Oh, don't worry. I'd stick to the floor in my bare feet. Mm. Out. Ooh, ooh. Goes through me like a knife. I'll close the window. Why'd we open it in the first place? Fresh air. <laughs> oh, fresh air, balderdash. If I'd known it was going to be as cold as this. Ooh, life on a farm certainly is rugged. Ooh, David, I'm going to just brush my teeth and it's all yours. You know what amazes me is there can be hot water on a day like this. That's because we have such a wonderful heating system. Are you going to be in love with this house all your life? Mm-hmm. It's first in my heart. You love it more than you do me? Well, it's less trouble. Well, maybe less trouble, but there's some trouble with the water. It's just trickling. Well, turn the spigot more. I turn the spigot more. Well, turn it more. David, you don't think the well has gone dry? The well has not gone dry. How do you know there's no water? That well is good for 12 gallons a minute. Mm. That rate, it probably got exhausted. Oh. Darling, maybe it'd be better if you'd only gave six gallons a minute. It'd last longer. That well came from natural springs. Natural springs don't run dry overnight. Oh, I see. The well has nothing to do with it. So will you stop worrying about it? I was just trying to be helpful. Hush up. I'm trying to think. The pump. What about the pump? It's not pumping. That's why there's no water. Well, it's either that or, or the pipes are frozen. Well, I don't blame him. I'm frozen, too. I shouldn't have frozen. There was heat on all night. Heat wasn't very hot. It's hot enough. David, what will we do? I've got to have water to make your breakfast and the baby's breakfast. David, the baby has to have water for all his breakfast. All right, all right. Now, you just leave everything to me and you'll have water. Where are you going? Wait, I'm coming with you. I'm not going to Calcutta. I'm only going downstairs to the cellar. I never felt the house so cold. It must be two out. Two what? Two degrees. Two is below freezing, isn't it? You know perfectly well that two is below freezing. Thirty degrees is below freezing. No, I never could understand why 32 is freezing. 32 is in the middle of everything. Now, that would seem a lot more logical to me. If zero were freezing, everything up uh, is warmer, everything down is colder. 32, that's a silly number to be freezing. Well, zero should be freezing. Is it freezing out today? Yes, it's freezing. Hmm. The only thing that isn't frozen is your jaw. That's good. Think how cold it would be if my jaw were freezing. Now, we're going to see if the pump's working. And if there's any water in the tank. How we know? It doesn't always make a noise, you know. We'll see now. Oh, it's so wonderful to have a husband. Especially a husband who knows so much about so much. Well, one of us has to know something. That's why I'm coming with you, darling. It's good for me to see what you do. Oh, all right. Come along. Careful of the cellar stairs, David. Oh, why do cellar stairs always have to be so steep? There wouldn't be cellar stairs if there weren't. Here, hold on to me. I'm fine. I have an exquisite sense of balance, if I do say so myself. Oh, you do. Honestly, a mouse couldn't live in this cellar. And what's the matter with this cellar? It's immaculate, it's spacious, and it's a very excellent cellar. It's very funny about men. They're always so proud of their cellars, the way women are about their kitchens. Well, the tank's full. Nothing's the matter with the pump. For which I am thankful. Oh. Oh, sorry, I couldn't resist that one. David, now please stop looking like a doctor and tell me what it is. It is... Oh, mercy, the pipes must be frozen. Take all this time to decide that? Well, I told you that five minutes ago. You what? I told you that five minutes ago. Oh. I told you it was either this or that, or the pipes must be frozen. Do you have the gall to stand there and tell me that you were the one that oh, said that? Oh, all right. You suggested it, you and I boot. agreed. I said I yeah. didn't blame them. Well, I, I as good as said it. Well, I knew right along that that's what it was. Now, I refused to get involved in an argument with my wife in the cellar. Good. I might do something fatal. <laughs> Come on back up. Where are you going now? Are we through with the cellar? Unless you want to take it upstairs with you. Uh, no thanks. There's plenty of house upstairs. Will careful you... of the stairs. You be careful yourself. Stop treating me as 
If I didn't know what I'm doing, Claudia, you're getting I me I love so... you, you dope, but I love you more with a good neck than with a broken one. Thanks. Nothing to thank me for. Well, here we are, back up. Now, what do we do? We look for the part of the pipe that is so exposed that the water in it might have frozen. David. Sensible. Are other men as efficient as you? Other men are not architects. Now, wasn't it brilliant of you to become an architect? So that when you had a house in the country, you'd know what was broken. You have hit the reason why I became an architect on the nail on the head. Oh, it is freezing in here. It does seem to get colder as we get into the kitchen, Mm, too. The living room wasn't so bad. The kitchen is like an icebox. Seems to be a draft coming from someplace. So you don't think Fritz and Bertha could have left a window open? No, of course not. They wouldn't have done it. David, I I hate going into their room when they're not here. Yeah. Still, we'd better. Yeah, I guess so. We'll have to find where the pipe is frozen or they'll bust. You mean they'll break and we'll get water all over the house? Now don't tell me you just realized that. Well, it has been in the back of my mind, but I didn't want to think about it. Well, somebody better think about it. David, everything will be ruined. The paint, the plaster, the furniture. David, I hope the baby's room isn't cold. There's no reason why it should be. Here. Here's Fritz and Bertha's room. We're looking there. Oh, it's freezing. David, look. Oh, a broken window. Gosh, that branch must have blown up against it in the storm yesterday and broken it. Mm-hmm. That's what happened. Why, well, I knew Fritz and Bertha couldn't have left the window open. Yeah. The wind must have blown right onto their pipes from the bathroom. Well, what will we do to unfreeze them? Build a fire under them. Now, David, please be serious. Well, we'll use hot compressors. Are you serious? Perfectly serious. But that means water. We haven't got any water. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, there might be a little left in the kitchen pipes. Let's hey, try just that. take a second to boil it up. David, you can get the the rags you'll need from the broom closet, you know. We'll have the whole thing fixed up in a jiffy now. Hurry. Oh, when I tell Mama, she's going to be so disappointed she wasn't here. Yeah, I'll bet. No, just pray there's some water in this faucet. Now, don't waste any. Here, put the pan right under. It is. There. Yeah. What happened? Nothing yet. Oh. Hooray! Oh, we're in luck. Keep your fingers crossed. It's still coming? And it's half full. Come on, come on, come. Oops. That's all. Mm, maybe that's enough. Well, now all we can do is wait. David, there's not going to be a pipe burst, is there? I hope not. I don't think so. Now, we've covered pretty much this whole house, and so far I haven't seen any leaks anyplace. Were you looking? Of course I was looking. What do you think I was doing? Counting chickens? Well, I didn't know you were looking. I wasn't looking. Well, that's why I was. It just can't get over how extraordinary you are. So early in the morning, too. Say, you're going to miss your train, you know. Well, that can't be helped. It can't be helped. Hey, watch the water. Starting to steam. Well, it's good enough. I think the water was so glad to get warm, couldn't wait to boil. You have the rags? Yeah. Now, all set. Here, I'll take the pan. Get away, you'll get burned. I suppose you think you're handier than I am. At least I'm supposed to be. David, are we really going to put compresses on the pipes? We really are. It seems so silly. Well, can you think of a better way? No, but it seems silly. How will we know when the pipe's unfrozen? You'll find out. So many mysterious things about living in the country I never knew before. Now, here, put the pan down. You want me to throw the rags in it? Yeah. Now, now, we'll wrap the rags around the pipe. Here we go. David, you really should have there. been a doctor. Like <clears> so. Is the cure going to take long, Dr. Norton? I certainly hope not. I think you're wonderful. So patient. The pipe is the patient. Oh. Now no. we're even. Well, you're patient, too. If I were you, I'd be wild. Why? I don't know. It just seems that it shouldn't have happened. Here, don't get it all over the you floor. You saw to it when we were installing the pipes in the house that they were insulated and well covered and... Ouch. What's the matter? Water's hot. Oh. Here, give me another rag. You know, I, I didn't realize at the time it was about the pipes freezing... Gosh, there's certainly more to building a house than meets the eye. As a matter of fact, the most important thing about a house doesn't meet the eye at all. Here, put another one here. David, Hmm. what's that? The pipes. What about them? Oh, they're breaking in two. No, they're not. Listen to that noise. The whole house is going to topple. Oh, David, make it stop. I don't want it to stop. You mean, you mean this is good? It's excellent. It couldn't be better. But that noise... David, when I hear that noise, I always think something's wrong. Well, in this case, it shows that the pipes are unfreezing. So quick? Mm Mm-hmm. Back pressure is let go. 
Well, what do you know? David, you talk just like a plumber. How soon will we have water again? Oh, in a few minutes. Good. Providing there are no other clogged sections in the pipes. Mm. Well, we certainly got over that one easily. That's a load off my mind. Were you worried? I'm sure I was worried. What do you think? Well, you didn't seem worried. What do you want me to do? Jump up and down? Turn somersaults? You seem calm as anything. As if it happened to you every day of the year. There's no point in getting excited. Oh, it must be wonderful to be so strong and so silent. Well, you wouldn't know. Not about the silent part, anyway. I said that before you did. Oh, we're lucky, aren't we? David, the baby's still sleeping. Don't you want to give him his breakfast? Well, I'll get yours first and get you out of the way. Bedroom's gotten warmer since before, I think. Claudia. Hmm? Do you hear something? Yes. Yes, I do hear something. What do you hear? Well, it, it sounds like a drip to me. Maybe you left one of the faucets open in the bathroom and the water's running through now. Oh, yes, I guess that's it. You know, one really doesn't appreciate water till one doesn't have it, does one, David? No, one doesn't. I could never have too much water, could you? No. It's funny, the faucet's not dripping, David. It was turned closed. Honey, I swear I could hear a drip. You don't think we have water on the brain, do you? I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> well, I'll start shaving anyway. I'll get dressed. Might as well. Now, let me see. What is in my closet for me this morning? David! What is it? I'm flooded! What are you shouting about? David, my closet is flooded with water and strands. Oh, well, I'll be gall dang. Oh, darling, as an architect, you don't seem to be a very good plumber. David, do something about it. Don't just stand there like a, like a, like an architect. The red cooler for Coca-Cola is a fixture in many modern offices and factories. It's put there so that people can work refreshed. When you think of the busy days you put in, doesn't it seem sensible that you should pause for an ice-cold Coke now and then? You know that you accomplish more with less effort when you work refreshed. Oh, Joe, ain't I got trouble. (laughs) Oh, you Mm. sure have, David. But I guess it's the least one can expect when one owns a house. You wouldn't feel as if you owned a house if you didn't have a little trouble to go along with it. <laughs> Just try me. <laughs> but don't think that you're the only one who has any trouble. Now, your gal, Lottie, she has some trouble. Uh, she has some trouble, too. Lottie has trouble? House uh, trouble? Love trouble. Ooh, ooh. Well, that's a lot more serious. Well, I had no idea about Lottie. Lottie's kept it pretty much to herself until tomorrow. Well, I certainly wouldn't want to miss Lottie's love trouble, so uh, I'll see you tomorrow, Joe. Sure thing. I better get back to those pipes of mine. Bless their little hearts. Every day, Monday through Friday, Claudia comes to you transcribed with the best wishes of your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. So listen again tomorrow at the same time. And now this is Joe King saying au revoir. And remember, whoever you are... Whatever you do, wherever you may be, when you think of refreshment, think of Coca-Cola. For Coca-Cola makes any pause the pause that refreshes. And ice-cold Coca-Cola is everywhere. This broadcast of Claudia was supervised and directed by William Brown Maloney. And now, here's a word from your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. <laughs> 